Hello everyone and welcome back to more Memories Dogma. In the last episode, our good friend Kakaru managed to create a hologram of Serrano using the data we got from the uh, connection center. And now, without the, without the restrictions of the connection center, we're able to ask her the hard questions and I do apologize for leaving it on a cliffhanger, but it gets you to come back, does it not? So, they're just gonna go right out and ask it. Did she really throw herself in front of a car? It was the same question I asked Serrano at the Connection Center. I didn't think she'd be so direct. I begin to worry that it may not, that it may end up like it did last time in that lounge. However, Serrano just simply looks confused. Well, that was a downer. Looks like Rena had been expecting that answer. She doesn't seem disappointed in the slightest, despite the fact that her portrait obviously looks very disappointed. On the other hand, Serrano looks really apologetic. レナちゃん。ソラノが謝ることじゃない。私の方こそ知り合ったばかりなのにこんな質問をしてしまってごめんなさい。いや、レナは俺を手伝ってくれてるんだ。ごめんな、ソラノ。ああ。As we all stop talking, an awkward atmosphere settles among us. I'm suddenly assailed by the notion that everything I'm doing here is pointless. I hope not. I even made Serrano's just a bundle of memories now. Suffer again, I'm... I mean, is it really so important to find out why Serrano died that I have to go this far? I think it's better if we don't meet anymore. That's what she told me. She, she carved their way into my soul. In this deep silence, the first one to open her mouth was Rina. Oh, the shrine! Oh, never mind, not the shrine. I could see the reason you're high Rina's proposal. If she sees that place again, maybe she'll remember something, right? It might break us out of this deadlock. But isn't this a bit too forceful? Frankly speaking, Serrano looks rather uneasy after hearing Rina's words as well. Serrano, you don't have to force yourself. As I open my mouth to say those words... A voice from behind interrupts us. There's no one else around here. I hear a voice again. Someone's calling out to us from behind. There's sure a lot of people calling out to us from behind today. Hope it doesn't become a habit. Be weird to ignore them, but I'd rather avoid anyone catching sight of Serrano. I casually put my hand behind me as I turn around and... Uh... Hello? One of the girls has red hair pulled back into twin tails. She's pretty short. But she's very short. But she has a piercing and wavering gaze full of determination and, for some reason, she carries something that looks like a spear. Well, this game just got a weird. The other girl's tall and thin. Compared to the first one, she's completely expressionless. Her face is an unreadable mask. They're both dressed rather strangely. Maybe it's some kind of event or something. Is there a Comic-Con going on somewhere? Aside, they seem rather haughty. What on earth are these girls? The Toon Tail girl suddenly starts up operating an MRD and brings up an AR display in front of us. The air display shows what appears to be a 2D map of the area around Fuchu Station. In one corner is a red pin indicating their destination. Looking at Rena, she seems a bit irritated, probably because our conversation was just interrupted. Hey now, no need to be rude. These young ladies ask us very nicely. She does not hide her irritation in the slightest as she speaks to the redhead. Oh, 
Even though we didn't ask for their names, the girl called Akane introduces herself anyway. Rina's at a loss for words at such an unexpected turn in the conversation. Let me guess, let me guess, it's from some weird RPG manga thing and it has some ridiculously long name. As I point at the long object Akane is carrying, she brandishes at us. Look at that crap, what the hell? The shot pointed the weapon passes right in front of our faces! I think this is illegal to have weaponry out in public. We hurriedly distance ourselves from the spear. <laughs> Crimson wings. When I asked that, Akane puffs her chest out proudly as if she's been waiting for that very question because... I mean, that's kind of a loaded question, right? People are gonna ask, what's that? And then they're gonna be like, oh, well, let me tell you. Wait, you guys aren't going to a convention? I'm sorry, anyone who dresses like that is going to be in some sort of organization. Probably brainwashed. Kane knocks herself and thrusts out her right arm, which has her MRD on it, towards us. Mina turns on her heels and prepares to leave. Flustered, I start to follow after her, but Kane quickly grabs on Arena's shoulder. I'm 38. だってそうでしょ。変なグループ名をつけて遊んでるだなんて子供のやることじゃない。失礼だな。私はもう16歳なんだぞ。オッケー、ワタエヴァイズイケット。私と it's like a rather weird argument has begun. No, you blew it. Sora peeks out from behind me to watch the spectacle unfold. Now remember, she's a hologram and she's like in tiny mini mode now that she's like coming out of her MRD and not like from like the laptop. I turn my back to the two of them and put on my right hand. Not about all that. It's true they're able to bluntly say how they feel, but that alone isn't enough to survive in this world. The way I see it, they're not so mu they're not so much being frank with each other as they're straight up arguing. Even still, for some reason, there is an envious look on Serrano's face as she looks at Akane and Rina. Nah. If even Serrano gets mixed up in their arguments, well, I'm pretty sure it'll never end. <laughs> While we're talking, Emma plants herself in between Rina and Akane. Akane, whatever, whatever her name is. I'm her lover. Ima stares Rina square in the eyes as if trying to repel Rina's questioning gaze. Oh. Pretty sure that makes sense. Well, of course not. You're wearing a ridiculous outfit with a comically ridiculous, unwieldy weapon. I don't understand what you're trying to do more than you do. Kane places a calming hand on Emma's back and returns back to face us. We 
why what's going on Connie's expression has changed completely from a moment ago when she'd been arguing with Rena and she now has a very serious look on her face it does sound like a pretty ridiculous story but maybe they really do have something important they have to do take a look at the map and see the place they're trying to go to is about a kilometer away from here Please let me lead you. What I tell you, what I tell you. Marina's like, no, what are you doing? Emma and Akane look unexpectedly at me. Honestly, it's not that far a distance. Even a round trip wouldn't take more than 30 minutes. Uh, someone has a case of the grumpies. Hearing that, Serrano, who was hidden from the two of them, says softly, We are on the clock, though. Remember, we've only got like five days before her memories are wiped completely. So we gotta find out the case as quickly as possible. Sarano. What should I do? I think about it for a bit, but eventually I decide that Rina is probably right. And I turn to Okane and Ima. They don't let us make this choice, really? Seems odd. I kinda wanted to find out more about these people. Kana and Emma huddle closer together and start talking while staring at the map on the MRD. Igaito Maybe their mental ward patients that escaped. It would explain the clothing. Saying so, Rina shrugs her shoulders. That's depressing. Let me guess, her genius has kept her sheltered and alone. What happened? I don't know why, but that case of her makes my heart ache. I don't realize it, but Serona's looking at my face with a worried expression. I'm fine. That's so what I'm about to say, it went suddenly! What? Explosion! What the hell? The vibrations are so strong I can feel them on my skin. This is a sound the likes of which I have never heard before. The sound came from behind me. As the rumble of explosion passes by, screams and the panic-stricken voices of a multitude of people reach my ears. And then, from even further away, I can hear the sound of a siren of a fire truck, or maybe an ambulance. When I look back, I see black smoke rising in the direction of Fuchu Station. It was obvious something out of the ordinary had just happened. For I knew it, Saran, Arena, Akane, Ima, and I had all gathered in the same place. Everyone was staring dumbfounded in the direction of the smoke. Oh man, what's going on? Hang on, where was Muhammad Academy again? A gas explosion? Or did a train derail? Something like this happens, what's the best course of action? It's pretty far from here, so we should be safe, but... Should we still evacuate just in case, or is it better not to move too much, you know? So many thoughts are swirling around in my head, it's hard to think straight. Me, Serrano, Rena, 
everyone, we're just simply standing there at loss for what to do. Should we go help them? Help whoever's over there, maybe? Do you know something? You know something. And you will tell me. For some reason, it looks like Akane and Ima are not shaken by this explosion. They're both walking towards the station. Don't tell me they're seriously thinking of going to the source of the smoke. Again? What? What happened? I want to go with you. Two silently nod to each other. Again? Have there been any other huge explosions around here? No, at least I haven't seen or heard of any. Do these two know something? No, 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 you're not gonna push me away. I wanna know what you know. Connie looks back at us for just a split second to say that and then runs off towards the station with Ima falling behind her. Just shouting that much takes everything I have and my mouth is much more parched than I had thought. To continue to gain speed, never looking back. As I watch the figures grow distant, I come to a realization. Oh my god, you're right. I try to contact Kakuro Mamardi. He doesn't pick up. Yeah, he had to go to the station to get the parts. To get more parts. Oh no. Now I hope he got out. I feel a cold sweat running down my back. Swana looks at me with a concerned expression. She must be worried about Kakaru too. We're all worried about Kakaru. I love that guy. Now that the seeds of doubt have sprouted, it will not wither until I can confirm the truth. I look at Rina. We gotta go. You don't understand. He was my friend. I know you don't have any friends, so you don't really know, but you don't get it. I have to know if he's okay. The black smoke rising from the station only thickens as time goes on. Yeah. We can't leave him. Maybe he's hurt or something, you know. We gotta help him. Just as he's about to turn in an argument, Serrano says in a very calm voice to Rina. いや、私はただ。でも、ひろくんはこういう時頑固なんだよね。悪かったな。ひろくんのそういうところ嫌いじゃないよ。でも、気をつけてね。あ、一旦通信を切るぞ。わかった。絶対また会おうね。I close the connection with Serrano and start running towards the smoke. The horizon is tinged with the faint light of dusk. The smoke rising up into it serves as a beacon, signaling that an accident has occurred there. The Kane and Emma are running far ahead of me. They're so far, I can still barely make out their forms. In order to catch up to them, I desperately run as fast as I can. When I hear Rina's voice, I suddenly come to a stop. When I turn around, I see Rina breathing heavily behind me. Looks like she chased after me. You can see a number of patrol cars heading to the scene via the highway, the sirens blaring. Further ahead, you can see a large mob of pedestrians running towards them, their faces twisted in fear. I call out to one of the pedestrians. He says and then runs off as fast as he can. Explosion. 
どう考えても危ないところよここはメアだとしてもこの目でカケルの無事を確認したいレナやっぱりお前は離れたところにいた方が yeah, if I leave him, I can never forgive myself. いいえここまで来たんだからヒロキが何と言おうとついていくわよ意外と強情だな目には目をってことわざ知ってる好きにしてくれ行くぞ Yeah, we don't have time to waste talking. Let's go. We slip through the crowd, fleeing in the opposite direction, and keep running towards the station. Oh man. What's gonna happen, guys? Eventually, we spot a Kana and Ina. Emma, not Ina. Ina was from、uh, Root Double, I think. As we get closer to them, we see there's a man blocking their way. He's middle aged and wearing a suit. It seems like they're talking about something. Nando demo you. Kimi tachi ga ikeru no wa so ko made da. I hear the man say in his deep voice as I finally catch up to them. So I can end, I oh, what can I add? Dana, so na yari mita in a monoma de motte. Coco de oxter cotoa, a sobija nindazo. So na no a cotterio, cochita de a sobija nenda. Oi, Akane, do sana. Oh, my tacho. Ah, mo, toits, mo, coits, mo. The middle aged man looks in our direction. You're going to be important. You have a portrait. As he says that, he activates his MRD and brings up an AR display. It's a police inspector. Oh, hey, do you know that? What was that one girl's name? The kooky girl? Oh, language lady. Kind of yells angrily at the detective calling himself Rusu, Rusu, Ryu Senji. Ryu Senji. That's his name, Ryu Senji. Oi, what's it? Kill. Cage like a Nanda Shiranaki. I dash that no shinro, Bogai Sirinate. Nani Waka no Waka and I could do it. Terunda Kimiwa. Uri Sai Sasa to Soko Tose. Kind of is completely lost her cool. See, the kind of so riled up, Ryu Senji can only shrug his shoulders. ここはお嬢ちゃんたちのような子供がうろうろする場所じゃない駅前広場からこの辺りまで全て封鎖中なんだ、no. No. 爆発があったって聞きましたけどそうだその原因を調査するために今我々警察が捜査中だ死傷者が出ている可能性もある、no. だからだったらますます私たちが行かないとエマカネヤマシーンオープニングスパスルセンジーフォミダサイドおい待てくそただでさえ人手が足りないのにいいか,か安全が確保されるまで君たちもここから先は通行禁止だからな Yeah, I got it He runs off like an idiot Alright, let's go Rina and I both continue forward Sorry, Resenjian, but we can't stop now after coming this far Oh man, look at this place. While searching for Kakura, we make it all the way to the station plaza. I expect to see people collapsed all over the place, but the square is practically deserted. There are a few rescue squads carrying off some people off in stretchers in the distance, but it looks like they've more or less managed to finish roping the area off. Some parts of the station are still burning, but the fire department seems to have the blazes under control. They'll probably have them all extinguished pretty soon. Looks like there was some kind of event going on earlier, and as there's an abandoned stage with a mic stand and floodlights collapsed around it. The daylight is fading fast, but the glow of the setting sun still illuminates enough asphalt that I can make out a few things scattered on the ground. A single shoe, an open bag, a coat ripped to pieces, and here and there you can see some dark splotches. This is blood. Don't really want to imagine what might have happened here. We still haven't been able to find Kakaru either. I can't even be sure if the blood on the ground is Kakaru's or not. Damn it! Kakaru, don't tell me you got caught up in the blast. Don't tell me you're gonna leave me too. Hiroki, I think you should be able to get out of here. 
辛いと思うけど。Rina says as she gently pats my back. It probably is a bad idea to stay here for too long. I guess we should head back. The moment I think that, what's gonna happen? We're gonna find out in tomorrow's episode of Memories Dogma Code 1. Take it easy, guys. Have a good day and God bless.